So hi guys, I'm Daniel Ginordi, welcome to my channel. So this video is basically just going to be a, an introduction into the reasons why I started my channel, um, what I'm going to be doing on my channel and I just want to let you guys know a little bit more about me so that you guys can get to know me a little bit more. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click that little bell notification. I'm telling you guys, this is the start of something big. Make sure you do all of that. Let's get to it. Cool. So I'm Daniel Ginaldi. I'm a professional footballer. I'm also an aspiring sports psychologist so the reasons why i wanted to start this channel is just to i just want to give people a behind the scenes and insight into my journey of just being successful in both being successful both in in football and in education so i've been able to balance both football full-time and ed education full-time and being able to achieve excellence in both so far in my journey so I just want to give you guys um, an insight into the journey. I also just want to inspire and just show the younger generation and elite athletes that who think you can't do both football and education that it's possible that you're able to achieve excellence in football, sports and education. A lot of the time people think that to be successful in football like you have to sacrifice maybe your education or you're not able to achieve that the highest grade in your education if you want to do football to full time and get to that high level of playing in the Premier League or anything. But my 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 aim of this channel is just to show you guys that it's possible. So a little bit about me. Well, in my education, in my GCSEs, I I done quite well. I was able to achieve six nines, two eights, two A's, two B's, and one C's. Whilst being whilst balancing it full time with football, like missing days of school to go training, to go to matches, to attend international tournaments, and also in my education, I've also achieved a grade A at A level in A level psychology. So that's just in education. Well, on the pitch in football, my um, biggest achievements is that I've represented England international at under 15 and under 16 level. I've also represented Nigeria at the under 17 World Cup in Brazil in 2019. So I'm not just saying these stuff about myself to maybe big myself up like, nah, all these things wouldn't be possible if not for God, like it's not by my strength. So that's just part of my testimony. So. That's my real aim of this channel. I've been able to balance football and education and achieve great things so far. So I just want to inspire people who think that maybe you can you can only do one, that is too much, that it's actually possible when you actually discipline yourself, you manage your time and you're able to balance everything. So the reason I've highlighted beyond football on my channel is that a lot of the time, people just think that footballers, yeah, they just they just play football, and yeah, they don't really have that much going on except football. But I just want to show people that I'm I'm more than just a footballer. I can do other things. I'm I'm good at education. I think I can sing. I can dance. But some of my friends <laughs> they say I can't. But yeah, I can do loads of other things. So yeah, I just want to. Also, like, show maybe the younger generation that, yeah, football is my identity, but there's other things to it. It's just, obviously, it's just what I do, but I'm more than that. There's more to my personality than that. So, currently, I'm a professional footballer at West Ham, but I'm also undertaking an undergraduate degree in psychology with the University of East London, where I'm a, I'm a sports scholar there. So, people ask me, like why I chose psychology as my educational pathway, why I did it for A-level, why I'm currently doing it at university. Well, 
in, it's ever since year and I where I took psychology for GCSE that I really got interested in it. I was like interested in how it explains how pe why people behave a certain way in different situations. I also believe that psychology is really the future, especially in sports. I feel like in sports such as football, that the ability to control your psychology is what separates elite athletes from average athletes. Like the ability to deal with the demands of the game, cope with the pressures of playing, pressures of performing, the pressures from social media and everything is what really makes you a top athlete. A lot of people can play football, but being able to deal with all these psychological and mental aspects of the game is what really makes you get to the top level. So what's gonna be on my channel? Well, I'm basically just gonna be documenting my journey to becoming a professional footballer at the highest level, playing in the top five leagues in Europe, or one day, hopefully, by God's grace, as well as me gaining my degree in psychology and becoming a sports psychologist. So I'm basically gonna be showing you guys the, the behind the scenes of my journey. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the behind the scenes of my football. So what I do in training, what I do on my matches. Maybe I'm gonna hopefully get a camera in the goal, show you what, what I can do on the pitch. I'm also gonna show you guys the education side of it. So how I keep up with my schoolwork, my uni workload, and how I balance it between football and how I can achieve high grades on my assignments and everything that I get given in my education. Also, I wanna start a podcast. So I wanna name the podcast Beyond Football because I want it to be a platform for young professionals, professional footballers like me to just tell people their journey, their experience, and also to show that they are more than football. So I'm gonna be speaking to some of my teammates, some people that I've played with who are who are starting to establish themselves and start their career and do big things in football. So I just want to give you guys like a deeper understanding into a footballer's life because a lot of people really have loads of stereotypes about how footballers are. So I just want to break those stereotypes and show you guys that there's a deeper level to us and that we're actually nice people. <laughs> so on the podcast I'm basically just going to be discussing the struggles of football the things that we deal with behind closed doors as well as life outside of football I'm also just going to be talking about issues within football such as racism in football and the issues that different people and some of my teammates the people that I know in the football industry what they've gone through and I just want to highlight that and explain it and see the reasons behind that. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be doing more videos so that you guys can get to know me more. I'm gonna be doing videos on my journey to becoming a professional footballer, as well as my struggles that I've had and I have experienced. It's basically just, I'm gonna do videos on my testimony so far, what God has done in my life in both education and, and football. So if you guys want more and you enjoy this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share it with everyone that you think this will benefit. And yeah, this is the start of something big. If you really like what I'm talking about and you see what my vision, then make sure you turn on that bell notification as well so that you know whenever I post a video. Girl, you got to come closer. Closer.